Hey everybody, it's Mike Young and Denise Young. We are out here on our daily walk. I can hear leaf blowers or dust blowers or something outside. So you know we're out in the great outdoors, which is where you should be getting your daily vigorous aerobic exercise for your mental health and also to get rid of some calories, but it's really for your mental health and just the fact that your body's designed to be moving and not sitting in a chair all day, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have a new article. This one's kind of controversial. I put this one together. I actually have a chapter in my book, Live to 150 at liveto150.org that talks about this as part of the chapter. Denise, I don't know if you've ever looked into this, but go ahead. No. Let's find out about it. Okay. It's, what is mucoid plaque and how do you get rid of it? You gotta talk over the blower. Mucoid plaque is a term used by some alternative medicine practitioners to describe a hypothetical buildup of intestinal mucus inside the colon. <laughs> According to these practitioners, mucoid plaque can build up in the colon and prevent your body from ridding itself of toxins. Okay, let's talk about this before you move on. What happens, like why, I talk about this in my book, why do you not pour grease or oil or whatever down the drain in your house? Why? It clogs your pipes. How? The grease sticks to the pipes. So it lines the insides of your pipes, right? Okay, uh -huh. so that's the general idea. We all agree that that does happen with plumbing. But the question is, does it happen in your body? Okay, because everything that goes down your, your esophagus, it kind of has muscles in there. It kind of, it forces it through, right? And then your stomach juices just kind of churn it up and then it kind of uh, expels everything out of there. But what happens after that? Like, does it have a chance to, to stick to the sides or something like that? You know, if, if it might in your colon, that's the question, right? In yeah. your colon, does something happen? Does it stick there? It would seem like it's possible. If you think about how plumbing works. You know that when you eat oil, you damage your endothelium, but that's your blood line, the lining of your blood vessels, not the lining of your colon. Right, but if you eat too high of a fat diet, and actually we didn't even talk about that in the last video, you will generally sometimes exacerbate and actually cause leaky gut syndrome, right? Which is caused by eating too much fat and it, how it destroys things in your colon. So basically crap that should come out as crap gets into your body it's a big mess that's what leaky gut syndrome is so that's sticking i guess it's not passing through it's not passing from one end of the colon to the other like it should and going out it's staying so that's that's kind of what this is about right this this uh, mucoid plaque is shit literally shit that should be going out and passing through is staying that's what they're saying. They're saying it's controversial. It may or may not exist. This is like Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or whatever. I don't even know. Um, I don't know how you would describe it. Leaky gut syndrome is completely different from mucoid plaque. <laughs> leaky gut is when your food leaks out of your intestine and mm -hmm. into your body. Yes. <laughs> mucoid plaques are plaques that get stuck in your colon. Right, but, but, but think about this for a minute. Whatever's leaking into your gut should be passing through your gut, AKA colon, yeah. and out. But instead of going and passing through and out, similar to grease and oil in your pipes in your house, it's sticking and staying. And then it's, uh, uh, as another action, in addition to sticking and staying, it's passing through a membrane it was never designed to pass through. Okay, that's just a secondary part of that. But the first part, if it exists, is the mucoid plaque. I'm trying to explain this in a way that non-scientific people can understand. You lost me when you said that the membranes get stuck. But do you understand what I'm saying? Like first it has to stop and, and not, pa not be passing through. That's part of mucoid plaque. It's stuck and not passing through. And then a secondary part of being stuck and not passing through is that it decides instead of passing through to the end of your colon, it's gonna pass through the colon and into your body, which is a really bad thing. No, mucoid plaques don't leak into your body. This is not the same thing as leaky gut. Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, well, look, this is very controversial. It may or may not exist. Yeah. If it does exist, it may be what is the causing the action of the leaky gut. I'm just saying, 
I'm just trying to explain it in a way. There's no medical evidence to suggest that right. Okay. 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 Right. 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 Syndrome is a real thing. Yes, <laughs> but right. <laughs> it, they may or may not be two different things. Is what I'm saying because we don't even know this exists. Okay. Do you remember where you left off? I'm just yeah, curious. Right okay. Here. So However, go ahead. Sorry. There's currently no medical evidence to suggest that mucoid plaques exist. All right. Do you think they exist? Um. No. Not really. I'm, you don't. Well. I mean, right now, let's put it this way, if you go talk to your physician and you talk about, you know, different non-communicable diseases that you have, in most cases, they're going to talk about, uh, you know, what do you do to manage the symptoms, which is the pharmaceuticals. They're not going to talk about what you need to do to actually reverse uh, the symptoms and the actual disease that you have. And they won't necessarily know, in their minds, they don't think that that's even actually an acceptable way to go. So I'm just saying, like, just because... Uh, chat GTP couldn't find any evidence that this exists doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, that quote came from healthline.com and medicalnewstoday.com and Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia has its own viewpoint plaque page. <laughs> yes. But it doesn't say, it doesn't provide any evidence that this exists. But it talks about it as if it might exist yeah I, I know when i finished a 10-day a fast my first bowel movement after that after i started refeeding it was immediate and some black stuff <laughs> came out but i don't know if that's just because i hadn't pooped in 10 days <laughs> or if that was really new point black or, well here's there really could have been it could have been i'm just saying hypothetically it could have been okay denise hasn't had any food there's no reason for you to be pooping anything okay so maybe the first thing that comes out is is literally shit that's sticking to the sides okay yeah. which is what this is okay that's what i'm saying it, it, it's if you think about it logically it could make sense but the thing is humans are living we're not like plumbing which is not living all right so you think that the it, this living walls are going to push things out but i think that there's there maybe there's reasons why it's not going to work right and maybe uh, the, because you're eating the wrong uh, foods or others are eating the wrong foods is the reason why it's not working right. Because uh, most people do eat the wrong foods, right? I mean, it's not, it's not like they're, they're eating the right foods all the time. People try to get rid of their mucoid plaque so that they can absorb their nutrients better and you know, lose weight and stuff by actually absorbing their nutrients. But I can tell you that after I finished my 10 day fast and started eating again, I gained those 10 pounds back right away. Right away. So you gain all the weight. Well, getting rid of the mucoid plaque weight did nothing for me. Well, weight doesn't necessarily have anything to do with nutrient absorption or not absorption. And it's like leaky gut. You could you could be way overweight. You could have leaky gut. Uh, you, there's many things that can combine and happen all at the same time, and be maybe unrelated. We gotta talk really loud here. There's like some kind of magic show. But we gotta talk loud. But there's a big park. The theory behind mucoid plaque is that the sticky substance adheres to the walls of the colon, causing a blockage and making it more difficult for your body to remove waste. Some natural and medical health professionals believe that mucoid plaque can build up on the colon and prevent your body right, from on, ridding man. itself of toxins. Let's figure, let's, figure, let's figure out where to walk through. Yeah, I'm figuring out where to walk through. Okay, hold on with, your, with more talking. You gotta, go, you gotta say that again. I don't think anybody heard that. There's, a, there's like a magician there or something. I'm telling you, lots of people can come in the park. They show up, there's lots of people dance with. We do the rest of the South Side of Chaka, usually, on the weekday day before, and then dancing is after. Yep, we're ready. Some natural and medical health professionals believe that mucoid plaque can build up on the colon, causing a blockage and making it more difficult for your body to remove waste. Some natural and medical health professionals believe that mucoid plaque can build up on the colon, causing a blockage and making it more difficult for your body to remove waste. Some natural and medical health professionals believe that mucoid plaque can build up on the colon, causing a blockage and making it more difficult for your body to remove waste. Some natural and medical health professionals believe that mucoid plaque can build up on the colon, causing a blockage and making it more difficult for your body to remove waste. That's okay. This is this is what happens when you go outdoors rather than sitting in front of a screen all day. Things happen that you don't plan on, and you get challenged like we are right now. Okay, now we're back. That's okay. No, no, it's not about the distractions. It's about us talking about it. This is a highly controversial topic. So I would expect that there's going to be a lot of discussion. Actually, if you guys have an opinion, 
please let me know in the comments. I can tell you that when I see things like this online, they get a lot of interaction because there is just a lot of controversy surrounding this. Some natural and medical health professionals believe that mucoid plaque can build up in your colon and prevent your body from ridding itself of toxins. But how can you prove that you rid it of toxins? No, it'll prevent. It says prevent. Yeah, I know. And it'll prevent your body from ridding itself of toxins. Right, so it's, so a, it's, 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 it's the same idea as the plumbing. It's just gonna build up and eventually what's gonna happen is your drain starts to slow down. We know this, we've experienced this. We, I just clean one out in the bathroom. Your drain starts to slow down because it's literally a bunch of stuff is building up and you have to go in and clear it out. My point is, how can you prove that my body rids itself of toxins but yours does not? <laughs> That's difficult to What do measure. you mean? I'm not sure if I understand. How can you prove that removing the mucoid plaque <laughs> will will allow your body to rid itself of toxins? <laughs> you can't measure your ability to rid yourself of toxins with or without plaque. Okay. <laughs> Treatments for this plaque are gaining popularity, but there's no evidence that the substance exists or you may not that be able it causes to talk again problems here. with the elimination of waste. We're just in a tunnel now. There's other people with us in the tunnel. We can just, why don't you slow down too on this hill? Go super slow because otherwise it'd be out of breath. I want to pass them too. Okay, go ahead. Although there is no evidence to support the existence of mucoid plaques, certain alternative and holistic medicine providers offer treatments to remove them. A person should always have a holistic or alternative procedure performed by licensed professionals. Yeah, that's something I noticed. Licensed professional. Well, that's something that's not happening. Well, that okay. like a doctor. <laughs> right, right. doctors aren't going right. to do that. They don't even they understand don't. nutrition. They definitely don't understand this. So uh, this, uh, let me know what you think about that because I see people talking about mucoid plaque. I see people offering services for them and I don't see any licensing going on. I don't think there's any licensing of this. No. If you're interested in, remo in removing mucoid plaque naturally, you can stop eating junk and processed foods. You can also consume mucus mitigating foods, herbs and negative binders. Some examples of mucus mitigating foods include garlic, ginger, turmeric, and cayenne pepper. Some examples of herbs that can help remove mucoid plaque include slippery elm, marshmallow root, and fenugreek. Negative binders such as activated charcoal and bentonite clay can also help remove mucoid plaque. Okay, I've heard of this clay. One thing I have not it's not mentioned in this article is um ju astringent juices like actually I, I squeeze lime juice into our uh, meals that i make once a week that is an astringent juice apparently that'll help loosen shit on the inside of your colon or whatever it is the, see people who say this exists say it's not shit it's this plaque they're saying there's a difference there but the reality is it's a flow through system if it's coming out, it's the same damn thing coming out. It was just stuck and not free flowing like it should have been. Colon hydrotherapy is another method that some people use to pass mucoid plaque. During a colonic irrigation session, yeah. warm water is gently introduced into the colon through a tube inserted into the rectum. The water helps to soften and loosen the mucoid plaque, which is like then animal. eliminated from the body through the same tube. <laughs> Overall, cleansing allows you to remove accumulated mucoid plaque in order to rebuild your bowel and your liver and protect you from disease. Rebuild? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That was from aqualibria.com. Okay, and all the sources are uh, cited for this article and there's hyperlinks too if you go to our youtube channel at a plantbaseddiet.org or plantbasedvideos.info is a direct link just look around the same time that this video was released and you'll see the hyperlinks for the sources you can click on those and also my facebook profile or timeline at mike young same thing in conclusion while some alternative medicine practitioners believe in the existence of mucoid plaque there is no medical evidence to support some this theory. so they say some alternative 
Yeah. Okay. However, if you are interested in removing mucoid plaque naturally, you can try consuming mucus mitigating foods, herbs, and negative binders, or consider colon hydrotherapy. As always, it is important to consult with a licensed professional before trying any new health treatments. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you've done any of this or if you do any of these things or anything about this. I'm curious because this is definitely, like I said, this is a highly controversial thing. This may be one of the most highly controversial things in health that's out there as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm looking around. When, when I know people remove stuff that looks unnatural from their colon. But why, if this is so un unproven, why can't they just send it off to a lab <laughs> the same way you do when you poop in a box and they're checking for colon cancer to determine what this stuff is? Okay, well, yeah, you is could. That's right, you could do that. Or is it something else? Well, it, you could do that. That's a good idea. I've never seen anyone do that. So if you know anything about that, let us know in yeah, the comments. Why doesn't someone develop a test? <laughs> <laughs> okay, another thing is, if it is the same thing, like I'm saying, maybe it's just stuff that's hanging around too long that got stuck to the sidewalls of your colon. Well, you should be able to do like an age test to it, right? And determine how old it is. Like this stuff is 10 years old or 20 years old. It's been sitting in your colon, right? Because yeah, it's not the, because right. if, if it hasn't been sitting in there that long and you can't prove it, then it's just flowing through, like I was saying, and it's not actually getting hung up at all. Right. Or maybe it's just from last week. Yeah. yeah. And it looks like it's five years old or 15 years old or 25 or I don't know. Because people are saying like you build up all this un, un, digested like red meat and all the things in your colon well we should be with 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 testing like you said we should be able to figure out well, out exactly what came out of your butt basically right. there are enough labs out there somebody who works for a lab please develop a test for this you'll get rich yeah maybe we should do that that's a yeah. good idea so let us know all of your comments and thoughts about this subject pass it along to friends please give us a thumbs up it really helps us out and definitely please subscribe if you're not subscribing already and get a water bottle one of our water bottles here a plant-based diet that our water bottle with our logo is on our website click merch and i think i mentioned in my book 100 live to 150 it's at libto150.org it's totally free it's a resource for you guys zero waste non-printed book that's it bye